Hello, this is Don Milne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a story to an existing Together We Serve profile that is caretaken by someone else. So, stepping back uh, a step, when we are adding stories to a Together We Serve profile, there's actually three different conditions that would be. Um, you'll be just creating a new pro profile from scratch. That's actually the easiest, but involves the most work. And that's what's going to happen 95% of the time because only 5% of the uh, Together We Serve uh, profiles have uh, been set up for people from the World War II era. We are finding, however, that for the Pearl Harbor project, that 5% is a lot, lot higher. So we're running into these existing profiles a lot more than I thought we would. So if there is an existing profile, then two things are going to happen. And we need to first email Kim Craft to let her know we've ran into an existing profile so she can help us decide what are we going to do as far as how we deal with that. So the information she's going to need is she's going to need this identity service profile number that you'll find in the URL box to the far right. Could be up to six, six uh, characters long. You'll need to let her know what branch the person was in. They'll need to know, she'll need to know the name and also what their rank was. Um, and again, you're going to be contacting Kim Craft, not the uh, profile owner, to do this. And at that point, she's going to make an assessment based on the information you provided as to what to do next. It'll be either one of two things. She may have the uh, profile transferred over to you, so you become the caretaker, or it may remain in the uh, uh the caretaker will remain where it is right now, but we have to grant you access to add your story. Now, when would she decide one and when would she decide the other? We'll have the existing profile transferred to you if, say, the person that set this up is deceased, they're no longer members with Together We Served, or perhaps they've decided that they would prefer to have the uh, um, name and profile transferred over to you. Uh, to work on as a story behind the stars uh, volunteer historian. So the other thing that may happen is Kim will decide this person is keeping track and it still wants to be the caretaker. The story is missing though, so we're going to grant you special access in someone else's uh, caretaken profile so that you can add that story. And that's what I'm focusing on in this training video here. So looking again at the three different things, that we could be doing profiles on. If it's totally a new profile, that's actually the easiest to do system-wise, but it's going to be more work because you're starting from scratch. In the middle is one where we already had a profile set up, and then that's going to be transferred over to you by Kim. Um, that's the next easiest because you just log in normally and you can just, at, at that point, you just treat it like it's your own um, managed, uh, remembered, veterans profile, but a lot of the work will have already been done ahead of time because someone was the previous caretaker. And the, the last one, that's the hardest to do and you'll see why is they have to go through the different steps to get there, but it's worth it because it's going to be the, the le least amount of work because you just add the story and you're done because everything else has already been taken care of by the original caretaker. Okay, so let's go and see how we do that. So we're going to be using what's called the uh, Stories Behind the Stars admin login. And so the place you'll find that is if you go to Boot Camp and you go way to the end, you'll see this link that says How to Contribute to a Remembered Veterans Profile that is not yours. So if you click that and open it, you're going to end up with uh, this page here. And we have this common admin email username sbts at gmail.com and we have this common username sbts1234 so this this will work on all of the different uh, um, branches you just have to go to the correct branch to log in because that's where the name is and then you can edit that page so this is kind of like giving the teenager the keys to the Cadillac right so you can basically do anything you want on these profiles so we ask you to, to use this sparingly, and obviously you don't start from scratch to create a profile 
using the admin password. So creating a new profile, use your own. But if you're editing a different profile, you'll want to be able to use this uh, username and password. So let's show you how you do that. So I've started here on a Together We Serve page. We haven't logged in yet, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. This is my normal, regular login that I'm using. So now I'm on the home page where I normally am. The person I'm going to want to add is in the Navy. So I'm going to switch over to Navy. So right now, you can see that uh, I need to uh, change the login because I'm logged in as myself, right? And I want to be able to do it using the admin. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to log in. I'm using the Stories Behind the Stars username and the password. And I'm going to log in. Okay, so now I'm in the Navy and I'm logged in as the Stories Behind the Stars admin. And so I want to find this whole tower name. Here he is right here. Um, I don't own this, obviously. I'm not the caretaker. But because I signed in as an admin, I could go ahead and edit the profile. So the main part that I'm most concerned with is the additional information. And it would be in the section called Other Comments. Now, I previously put this information in. So this is all you would be doing is going to the Other Comments section taking whatever you typed up in Word or whatever your main platform you use for typing stuff, and I just copied it in and dropped it into this box. Now, because this is a Pearl Harbor project, I uh, also added in this extra paragraph we do. This guy was on the Oklahoma, so I added in the Oklahoma paragraph. And then at the bottom, I added in the references from the uh, Oklahoma paragraph. So that's all there is to it. I would press save additional information. So we used the stories behind the star admin login. We went to that branch. We found the name and we added the story to the comment section. It says other comments. There's another box that says additional information. You don't want to put it in that box. The reason we put it in the other comments box is when a story is transferred from together we serve to fold three, other comments show up on the story tab in Fold 3. Okay, the other thing we want to make sure we include is an attribution line because this profile is not something that you're the caretaker of. We want you to add this line that says stories behind the stars, contributing author, and then put your name. Put that in there right at the bottom of, of what uh, you add so that we can tie that back to you having been a part of this. And then you can press save additional info. So that's now we'll have the story in it. So if we go to the role of honor for him, full service history, all this stuff was originally put in by the original caretaker, except now here in the comment section, this was a story that I was able to add. And here's the uh, References. These references here look like they could be down a little line. They looped into the story, so I can go back and change those. These are the references from the uh, Oklahoma paragraph that we added. That paragraph is over here. So that will now fit into the uh, app. Um, well, one other thing I can show you here was I, I was also able in the edit phase to add another photo to the uh, profile. Um, I actually was able to visit his grave, grave site when I was in uh, Southern Virginia a couple weeks ago. So I was able to take a picture of his gravestone. So I went ahead and added it to his profile. So you can add that as you're doing stuff besides adding the story. So that's where I added here, adding other elements as you wish. So that's it. That's how it, that's, as you can see, it's pretty easy once you go through that specific path to add the story. And because the profile was already set up, 
I didn't have a lot of other stuff I had to do. I just went in and, and dropped the story and I'm done. And of course, I'll want to have to log out of my Stories Behind the Star admin if I want to go back and do some other stuff um, on work I'm doing. Use my own password for that. Okay, hopefully that's helped you understand how to add a story to an existing profile.